Hello folks, welcome to the Turbo Series, and this week we're going to do something a little bit different. Normally when it comes to huge events like this Easter event, I go in, I buy everything, and I max it. However, I've got one tiny problem. First thing is, I've hit a wall with promotion stones, I only have 49,000, trying to get more is a bit of a pain in the backside, so building 10 stars is kind of the thing that's holding me back. I need to get more 10 stars to build up and progress Elena. So if I try and wail on this event to get more destiny materials and pick up more crystals of transcendence and more stellar shards, I won't actually get any value from that stuff because I won't be able to use it to build anyone because I physically can't build anyone. I've just made way too much progress from way too much spending earlier on. And as well, if you look at my wishing coin amount, I actually don't have a lot of wishing coins. Even though I've spent all my arena tokens to pick up wishing coins, I still only have 1,433. And that means there's no optimal way outside of spending for me to complete this event. So actually, funny as it is, I think this is going to be one of these events where I just skip it. And even if I did a little bit of spending, let's say I just bought this pack, it feels kind of gross because I'm spending money and not getting Destiny materials. But for an account this old is really the thing I want to do. And I know, I know I say old, this account's not even six months old. But when I say old, what I mean is this established, when an account has made this much progress. I'm so deep into the game now where Destiny materials really do matter that actually in an event like this where I have to max the whole thing just to pick them up, that feels kind of painful. And also, to max the event, let's not forget, I have to spend a buttload of contract story gems, and that would then leave me in a position where next week's event, which is a Soul Awakening Gala, I actually don't have that many contract story gems or story gems left. Again, that doesn't feel very nice. So I'm actually going to go ahead and leave it, and the final thing that I don't like is this pack here, doesn't really give anything good so if i spend a little bit of money i'm still not getting good rewards and then again that just forces me to max the whole thing so i don't want to spend 350 bucks and all my contract story gems on this so what we're going to do is go in the minimal way for people that don't quite have enough wishing coins that are looking to make progress in this event so if an event comes along like this where you're like actually i can't do anything optimal just do the bare minimum so for us here we need to go ahead and buy 60 of these easter eggs that's going to cost me 24,000 gems and we're going to go ahead and cash them in Will I high roll? I got four superb Easter eggs. That's nice. And we do get a lot of Celestial Island materials as well. So let's spend these superb eggs. Maybe I can get a diamond egg from this. I don't, but I do get some stellar shards. That's nice. And I do get a little bit of a <laughs> Destiny materials. How cute. Now that's going to put me to 120 sewing needles, but I need 150 to get ourselves a top reward. So we are going to have to use some wishing coins. So to get 30 of these, we are going to have to go ahead and spend 400 wishing coins by doing five spins in the wishing fountain. So let's see if we can find something that gives a good amount of dust and gold. So I'm going to reset this a few times until we get something nice. 200 dust. You know what? That's fine. Let's do it. There we go. That's all the wishing coins I want to be using. We'll go ahead and claim these rewards. That's going to give me some sewing needles. I get a copy of Ignis as well, which is nice. And with those sewing needles, we can go ahead and build ourselves a rabbit. So what rewards do we want? I want to get gems from here. That seems like the best value. Actually, I think scrolls is better than gems. 100 per scroll. Per... That's actually... Yeah, yeah. scrolls is better value than gems. Wow. I did not expect that one. Next, we need to go ahead and pick whatever here. I'm actually going to go with wood because that's the one I have the least of. Then from this, I'm actually going to go with the six-star puppet chest. Uh, we got the pink Easter lily. I think that's our best option. Or is it passive two? Passive two is also really good. Yeah, I'm going to go with the blue lily here. And then finally, we need to make sure we pick the right clothes here. I would normally get a core of origin chest, but actually I think subs are more important for this account. So there we go. We've got ourselves a fully made little rabbit there. Confirm that. And let's go claim our rewards for the sub chest. Sweet. And I think that's all we're actually going to do this week, except we still have a few other things to open up. We got these two eggs here. And I get ourselves some Crystals of Transcendence, and we get some Scattered Spirit Vein Shards, and we have these Starry Gems to Awaken a Foolish. But before we use those, let's go to Sky Labyrinth and get this in. So I'm going to go ahead and smash this first floor. Let's use 22 pickaxes. Let's take the exit. And now I'm going to do this one manually for Halora's Active Skill. And we'll get some Branching Paths here. Ooh, nice. More pickaxes. Let's use the Active. Grab some extra energy. And clear it out. There's the exit. So on this floor, we're going to smash. That uses 27 pickaxes. Yikes, that was a really big low roll. And now we just got to get Halora's active skill. Click here. Here we go. Big. Wow, that's a lot of energy coming through here. I think we switch to Asmodel. With Asmodel, I should get two actives out of him, I think. Or we go with Queen. 
and just don't buy any pickaxes with gems. Mm, that is a tough call. I think I'm going to go with Queen. I think we'll stick in. That energy is really nice. So we'll claim this, grab that times two, and we'll begin to clear this floor. There's our exit. So we'll grab this here. Okay, let's go down here. Hopefully we can high roll something from doing this. Actually, no, we are going to get a lore active here. I'm almost certain of it. So we'll get our branches here. Go one and two. Here's Halora's active. And the exit appears immediately. That is great. Nice. And actually, you know what? Switching to Asmo was probably the best call. Hindsight is 2020. I still should be able to do this floor, actually. Pretty easy. Because, yeah. I mean, what's a few gems? You're right, guys. I get a train ticket from this. That's no bigs. And there we go. We're out of here. And we get ourselves a five-star chest and some charm treasure coupon. All right. Anything from the mysterious chests I want to buy? I mean, there is the option of picking up some guild coins here. I do have a lot of gems. And for this account, guild coins are actually necessary because I'm really early days still. Normally, I would not recommend this, but when you've got as many gems as I do, it's actually something worth picking up. So Ranger's already pretty heavily invested in. We should probably look at Warrior here. Is it worth upgrading one of my defensive skills here for Warrior? Or do we want to start upgrading Priest? Actually, no, this does something. Yeah, oh, it's expensive. And then you might as well finish it off at this point. Because it's really inexpensive. And then we unlock the whole thing for Priest. And then for Warriors, we do just want to get a little bit of defense here. So we'll leave that like it is for now. Now you might be wondering, why am I skipping Mage and Assassin? It's that simple. I don't actually have any Mages or Assassins. <laughs> so why do I need it? I don't. I'm pretty much all in on Rangers, Priests, and Warriors. And I think I'm going to leave it like that as we move forwards. Now we have 2,000 of these gems, which is going to get me 20 Awakens of Foolishes. Let's see how we do. And then I start Drake got no tech. Uh, he doesn't need it. He's just relying on Treasure Train to stay alive. And uh, we got an A there. That's nice. And we go again. Another A. No S tier though. But still. That gets me some rewards. Not a lot. But hey look. 4,000 promotion stones. Hooray. Got some guild coins there too. Which is nice. But generally the rewards from this are pretty bad. Now you might wonder. Am I going to go use my Treasure Train tickets here. And get some rewards from this. Well. I don't actually have that many. I only have four of them, so I'm just going to leave them and convert them to normal tickets later on. So yeah, that's us done here for this Easter event. So what I'll do is I'll see you guys in the next event, where we're going to go ahead and do a ton of Awakens. Because I don't want to use my contract story gems here, so I might as well show you what I'm going to use them for instead. Okay, it's now the next day, and we have a pretty fun event. We have Awakens. This is going to be really fun. We got a big old Soul Awaken Gala to do. I'm not going to go to 600 points. I don't really think that's worth it. I'll go to 300. I'd rather do 300 twice than 600 once. So what we're going to go ahead and do is do that. We also finally have Hero Token in the Treasure Train. So we're going to be opening 150 Treasure Train tickets to max out this. So that's going to be good fun. So we're going to do that and we're going to do Awakens. And then we'll also do Tower of Oblivion because I've got Depth 20 to go ahead and fight. So that'll be a fun milestone for us as well. So folks, let's kick things off in the Soul Temple. I have a free Awaken. We need to make sure we've got some five stars that we can Awaken. So let's go look if we've got any fun copies to Awaken up. Who would be a good pick, do you think? Let's look at my chests. I have 26 of this chest. That's a lot of Mockmen. Ooh, 21 Vulcans or 21 Alamax. 21 Natalies, that's fun. Because I think a lot of people will probably awaken Alamac from this chest. But there seems to be a lot of Alamax on the market right now. We do need more Nats, yeah. So for the greater good of the community, I'll try and get you an A-tier Nat. So let's get this thing started with a free awaken. Let's see what we get. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Look at that, boys. An E. Classic. Now we'll claim this free awaken, and let's do another one. Hopefully we get something spicy today. Oh, look at that! We're already getting some green. It's a B minus. That's just probably going to get destroyed. But I'll take 300 contract story gems. That sounds good. All right. We don't have any stones to awaken them with. So let's just go ahead and blast out all of these mock men and see if we can get something that's a nice juicy high roll. We start off here with an E plus, even though there's two yellows. That's a bit rubbish. Get some yellow here. And it stays yellow. That's a D minus. Blue. And yep, it's an E plus. Blue again. And an E plus again. More blue. E plus. Is it just going to be yellow? D minus. It's better than an E. Blue again. An E again. 
More blues for an E again? No, oh, come on. Yet more blue. Classic. E plus. When will the E streak end? Yeah, I really hope it does end pretty soon, because that's another E plus we just got. Oh, purple, that's nice. Oh, but it's only a D plus. Stupid yellows. Ooh. C? You going for the B minus or even any higher? No, you go to 300 or don't bother with this event. Blue? That's an E. Blue again? E plus? Oh, come on, more blue! E again. Another E plus. That's a D minus. E plus. Man, we're getting really unlucky with these. We've had so many E's. D minus again. Oh, yellow? For a D minus again. Oh, finally, some green. Oh, and it's pulled down to a C plus. That's a shame. That's a D. Got some more yellow here. That's a rainbow. And it's a D. D minus. And an E. Ugh. Two more mock men. Let's see what they get us. Okay, that's a C. Oh, is it? Yep, yeah, it's a C. And the last mock man. Y yeah! Bit of green! For a B! Nice! I'll take that. Skill damage block as well, not bad. Okay, let's move on to our Natalie's now. Let's see if we get as lucky with these. Starting off with blue. That's an E minus. Ugh. Bound to get one at every point, right? Yellow. That's an E+. Plus. E again. Yet more E's. Come on. Yellow. Another bit of yellow. Oh, but we still get E+. Plus. That sucks. Yellow coming again. For a D-. minus. Blue. For an E-. minus. Oh, Renville, you cursed me saying that in chat, bro. And there's some more freaking blue for an E+. Plus. Terrible. You think we're going to get a B? I mean, we've already had two Bs, which is not bad. There's an E minus again. Oh, come on. What is with this E minus collective? This is horrendous. And yet another E plus. This freaking sucks. Oi, come on, Natalie. Sort your life out. Nope, more blue. Wow, D minus. And the last two Nats. It's yellow. D. Okay, that's fine. That's good. And the final one. Yellow again. For a D minus. Right, let's go check out our Soul Awakening Awards then. So we've got 243 points. So we're getting there. This is good. So we'll go with an Artifact. We'll go with Stellar Shards. Let's claim all that stuff through. And the last one we want to be picking up here. It's probably Sublimation really, isn't it? Yeah. So now we need to go to the Soul Temple. And we need to start destroying some of these E's. That is nine more. Which should be more than enough, I think. In fact, it might be too many. Either way, let's start putting these gnats in. Let's see what we can get. Oh, we start off, as always, with some blue. Yep, of course. An E. Horrendous. Oh, blue again. Okay, fine. Another E. <laughs> Come on. Please! Please, something good! It's yellow! And yet, it's only a D-. minus. That's still fine. I'll take it. Come on. Yellow again. For a D. Sure. Get me something good. D+. plus. Yikes. It's still good, though. D-plus is fine, actually. I shouldn't get triggered by that. It's it's good, right? D-minus again. Come on. How many is that giving us now? 278. We need 22 more points. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. That's a C-minus. Not bad. And this one here. Come on. Just get me, like, something crazy. A tier. Come on. Nope. That's an E. So I need nine more points. Come on. Please be a high roll. Oh, no. What the frick? Why is there a bit of purple in there? It's a D minus. Amazing. Absolutely stupid. And that gets us our final hero. We're guaranteed to get it in the last one. Let's just do an Elena. It's blue. And that's an E+. Plus. Horrendous. Well, folks, that's going to be our 300 points here in the Soul Awakens. We did get a few Bs, which isn't too bad, but it wasn't anything spectacular. And that's typically how Awakens go. If you managed to get an A tier, let me know in the comment section. But now we'll move across to the Treasure Train to do 150 in here. This 
is hopefully going to be a little bit more exciting. In hero token, no less. So this is going to be fun. Starting off here, we get some purples. And that looks like that's all it is. Okay. Another 10 bomb. We get a purple again. Another purple and a red. Not bad. Let's send it. We get ourselves a green this time. And an orange. And another red. And a few shards there and a couple purples. Pretty cool. From this one, we get one purple and the rest are shards. Next opening, we get a red, we get a purple, and the rest are shards. Okay, just a purple here. Nothing amazing. Come on, give me a pink. No, we get a red though. And we get some purples, and we get a green. That's quite nice. Just a purple. It's nice that we do get some okay shards here, but I want to see something real spicy. Okay, another purple, another green. And another purple there too, so two purples and a green. Not bad. Come on, high roll, please. No! Oh, don't do me like that. That's just a single pink shard. I mean, we do get two greens here. And we get a purple, which is nice, but it wasn't what I wanted. Come on. Let's go! Oh, they teased me on the last one. And then we get it on this one. That is a great roll. We got the Queen's Cup. And we get an orange one here. We get a red. And we get a green. And we get a purple. That's nice. Send it again. Come on. That's okay. A red and a purple. The rest are shards. Come on. Right, we're getting ourselves here purple. That's average, I guess. Come on. Get a green, get a red, and another red, and a purple. And there we go. This is our final one. That's going to be another red, a purple, a purple, a purple, and the rest are shards. Right, let's go take a look at our treasure train at the moment. We're on 4.6 million. Will we break 5 million? with the quick operation here. Let's see it. That's a lot of level up. Some of our things have reached five star. Queen's Cup is enhanced a little bit too. And we can go ahead and destroy some of these items now as well. And we get back some treasure crystals. We're at 4.9 million. Looking at hero token here. We're looking pretty spicy. We've got four star here on the Lady Sunshine hat. And a few other things could be upgraded a little bit more, I think. Let's go take a look at our chests. And we have four chests here. So we could, in theory, open three of them to take Queen's Glass to four star. So there's three. That's four star on this. Nice. That's going to give me a lot of bonuses from this. And that takes our treasure bonus up now to five million. So that leaves me with one more pink treasure chest. Hmm. I could either save it for Queen's Cups later on. Or I could drop it in retro gaming, maybe. And try and pick up some of these. Like the MAME item. But I think I'd rather use my treasure train tickets in retro gaming first. When we get that as an up event. In a couple months time. So I'm actually going to save that pink chest. And then just use it to iron out what's already looking pretty wonky. As for the reds. I could go with this. To try and put some holy damage onto ranger. That might be a good idea. So let's put that in. And let's quick operate. So now it's plus six. So we just need one more from there. And that'll be good. Okay, with all that done, I think it's time to go ahead and finish things off today with some Tower of Oblivion. Let's go fight Depth 20. What are our up heroes today out of curiosity? We've got ourselves Ignis. And we got Freya. I can use both of those. That's actually fantastic. And Carrie as well. That's a great selection of up heroes. That's really nice. Okay, let's, let's save this up then. That's looking pretty good. We'll just go ahead and finish the items on our heroes. Ooh, let's go with the tried and true super damage based Natalie with the melodic strings. Holy damage, skill damage as well. Let's get super greedy here. All right, let's save this up and send it in. So first wave is Natasha and two copies of Waldeck. Let's see how this goes. We should be really, really solid here. Let's see. So yeah, they're going to focus... Ayla Mac. Okay, they've already killed our carry. It's not too much of an issue. She'll resurrect. She's just here for elusive mirror gains. 
Good crowd control coming out there. Great active skill from Natalie. Tearing these guys to pieces. Patricia's active should destroy them as well. Let's see this. Oh, yeah. Nicely done. Natalie doing the most damage there, obviously. Because Patricia didn't get time to ramp up. We killed him too fast. All right. Even Gustin's have fallen here. That's amazing. Garuda Morax. They're dead. Russell and Aspen are gone. We've got ourselves three Russells now. That's a win. Six Taras. Totally defeated. Assassins, they're gone. Quadruple Eloise. That's an easy win. Quadruple Mim. Yep. We're destroying this, man. Absolutely schooling all over it. Four carries, can't do a thing. Natasha, Ithaqua, super dead. Triple Fork is triple Ada. Nicely done. Rainbow Team, that's dead. And four Eoses. We beat them as well. Nicely done. Let's go fight the Nightmare Waves now. So let's go see what happens here. Let's use our tower team and send it in. So of course, Sword Flash is going to kill our carry. That actually sets her up with Impeccable Flow. That's a little bit annoying. But I think we'll still be fine here. She might do a lot of damage on her active here, though, which could be a problem for us. Unless we can crowd control her or something. That'd be nice. Oh, never mind. Natalie just takes her down. That's fantastic. Okay, good stun there from Alamac. Stunning the Tussalago as well. He's on a streak here. Patricia's ult going off there. Nicely done. And Natalie popping off with that active skill. Taking him down. Perfect. Let's go here. We got Sherlock's on this one. That's not fun. Okay, that Jara doing a little bit of damage there to Alamac. He does manage to stun her there, though, on the slot 2-1. That's good. They've doved on Natalie, so she's not going to get some crazy active, unfortunately. And oh, Patricia got CC'd because Sherlock reflected it back onto us. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Okay, carries down. Patricia's healing back up. Natalie's free. Patricia not getting turned into a dove. That's fantastic. She's got great defense here too. You can see minus ones coming out, which is really nice. That suspicious lucky cap button in good work. Now, what I want to see is a really, really good active from Alamac to clear those bubbles or something to come out that's pretty similar. Freya's trying. There's Alamac. Yep, he does manage to clear a lot of those bubbles away. That's really, really good. But I think... Oh, no, none of the Ammon Ra's have actives. That's going to be completely fine. Okay, we've lost Alamac. That's not good. But Patricia is going to get an active skill off here. Freya as well. Natalie putting out good damage here. As we start to kill them, Patricia's going to energy feed herself. So Patricia's next active skill is going to devastate here. There it comes. Oh, Amon Ra's bubbles eating it. The crowd control getting reflected off the Sherlock. Amon Ra doing great survivability for her team here. The two of them working well together, but the counters from Patricia are far too much. Nice. All right, we're on to Nightmare 3 now. This is Asmodel's Taras and Asmodel the Dauntless. This should be fine. Okay, good stun there on Asmodel at the back. That's good. You can see Asmodel the Dauntless's defenses are there on the Tara, who's in slot 3. We've already killed one of the Asmodel the Dauntlesses, though. Good active there from Alamac, putting good chip damage in. When the counters come out from Patricia as well, that's going to put even more chip damage in, which should give Natalie the kill when her active skill comes off. In fact, maybe Patricia just wins this. Yeah. Patricia absolutely dominating there. Nice. We got... Oh, oh... Natalie Holmes Young Sherlock. I don't like that. I really don't like that. Okay. So for this team, we're going to put in Freya, Ignis. And that's the lineup. Only two of our heroes really should be in here. So hopefully we get a really, really nice active skill from Natalie. Oh dear. Unbending Will was triggered on it, which is a problem. Okay, she's getting her counters off. She's got some shields. She will get a big active here, though, which is nice. Patricia goes first as well, softening them up. And Freya. There goes Natalie. Got decent damage, but not a lot. Got to deal with these Sherlocks now. These could be a problem. At least we've got stun there on the Home Jung. That's going to be nice. One of the Home Jungs, though, does get an active. Patricia not getting turned into a dove, though, thanks to her control immunity. And Patricia's active skill should do good work here. Her counters are already doing good chip damage. There's Patricia's active, cleaning up the wave. Patricia absolutely killing him. Nicely done. And here we go, Nightmare 1. 
This has been a real clean sweep through Depth 20. I'm surprised. I thought we'd struggle against some of these, but no, the team's been really nice. The Destiny improvements we got the other day have been really, really helping. We're doing great. Let's send it in then. Okay. Stun there on Arania. Not the worst. Good kill. Active. Halomac chipping damage there into them. So now Patricia should do a nice big active skill. We're going to see that Star Alchemist Home Jung fall. Here we go. Vulcan. Oh my word. Absolutely devastating us there. Really starting to become a problem. At least he's dead now. And Natalie cleans the wave. Look at that damage. 202 billion. Honestly, Natalie, I love how strong she is. At A tier, she gets all those giant killer bonuses. She is devastating. Folks, there it is. We've absolutely killed it. The Turbo Series popping off once again, making tons of progress. Awakens were fun. Treasure Train was fun. Now we're at 5 million extra attack on that Treasure Train, which is amazing. Patricia sitting now 21.7 million. Natalie at almost 13 million. And the two of them working great together as always. If you want to catch more from the Turbo Series, hit that subscribe button, guys. We will be bringing out more uploads in the future. And let me know how your accounts are passing on in the comment section. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Have an amazing week. And of course, happy idling.